Hey guys, it's October 15th, 2021. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and we have a ton of new stuff to show you today. We're gonna start off with Lori Holt's brand new 2022 planner. We're gonna talk about our charity quilt and I'm gonna show you some fun little weekend projects that you can do with a brand new video that we have and I'm gonna show you some new items. So hot off the press and hot off the truck is the brand new planner. So I'm gonna go through it. This is the actual planner. It landed yesterday at about noon. And if you pre-ordered this, it's gonna ship, start shipping today. So we had a fast turnaround. We really want you to get it in time to fill out your journal and have time to, um, you know, really plan your year. And I'm actually gonna start filling mine out today. And then in the next couple of weeks, I can show you what I have planned and how I use my planner and Lori's also going to do some videos where she shows how she uses her planner and how she mixes in some of her brand new paper that was made by Riley Blake. And she's going to show you that in a video. So you'll get ideas from me and her. Mine, I'll probably be a little bit more practical and she'll be a little bit more cute. So it comes in this box. And we made it where you can reuse it where it doesn't have the year or anything so that you can use this box um, going forward for future years. And then next year's planner will come in a different color and it won't have the year, but that way you can save the boxes and maybe stack them up or use them for decor. And on the inside, it has uh, two of these little protectors so that it doesn't get damaged in transit. And then we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna flip through all the pages. And I love the front. I think the it's um, embossed is what you would call that, and it's really awesome. And we did make it where there is a lot more room for your binder to move because sometimes when I buy planners and I'm turning the pages, I get really annoyed when you have to like really force it. So we intentionally made it a little bit looser. And you can put your name. And then at the beginning, we have any good planner is going to have this so you can look at 2022 and 2023 as a whole and then we've got planning my year special dates to remember so maybe you could put birthdays here and here you could do um, maybe your plans for cross stitch or quilting or work or you know personal goals and in, I'm gonna show you one month, and each of the months are the same, except they're all color-coded. So all of your January will be yellow. So you can put birthdays, and she intentionally made these boxes as big as possible and left a room for notes. So for example, if you're, maybe, I'll just give you an example for me. So what if my daughter has Nutcracker every weekend in January? Well, I would, I could just put Nutcracker every weekend instead of writing it each week or something like that. And there's Honeycomb at the bottom and they're all yellow. And then the next month would be a different color. And then each page in the beginning, you have notes, priorities, personal goals, health goals, shopping goals. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm probably going to list over here um, what maybe quilting projects I need to finish that month and then over here maybe cross stitch. So I'll probably divide it up that way. And then you have a two page spread for the entire week. And the green is December so that you can easily tell because you obviously have the month before and she's left little water drops so that you can make sure you get your eight ounces of water. And there's also a to-do list each, each week. So you can kind of set your goals monthly and weekly. And of course it's spiral bound and it's so cute. You won't mind having it like hang out in your purse or when you go somewhere, your friends are gonna be like, oh my gosh, where did you get that planner? It's so pretty. Um, it is 172 pages and your page size is five by eight and a quarter. And the colors came out perfect. You know, you always get a little bit nervous when you're printing something that the printer gets your colors right. And the pages are thick. And the reason they're thick is so that um, when you write on one side, it's not gonna leak through 
to the other. Some planners have really thin pages and then it kind of gets messy. So she handpicked every, she handpicked everything for this planner. And we kind of started, you know, we did start from scratch. Um, Cody did all of the images and Sarah did all the placement. And we're really proud of it. Or, And then here we have 12 pages of notes. So you could actually, you know, have January. You could do it by month or you can do it however you want. But this is a great way. You have lots of room in the back for notes. And it is so cute. So if you have any questions about the planner, let me know. Now, if you pre-ordered it, thank you so much. It's going to start shipping out today. And um, then we're going to move uh, in a second to our charity quilt. And the one question I have so far is from Hope. Will I be getting more left-handed left rulers from Creative Grids and more sizes? I love my left-handed rulers. So I carry everything that Creative Grids designs, and I know that um, some of their employees watch. So, and they are, I'm sure if the left-handed sell really great, they're gonna add more. I haven't heard of any more, but I'm hoping um, that they make some more. And then Laura asked, do you think the pages are thick enough to use flare pins without them bleeding through? So I have no idea what a flare pin is. So I'm not sure. Um, so do you think they would show through? We don't know. I don't know. I have no idea if they would. Um, and you're going to notice today that we have the camera top down more. And the reason why is I'm still recovering from eye surgery. And I'm very subconscious about... Um, the way one of my eyes looks. So we're gonna move to something that we're also proud of because we're always trying to do things here different. The thing about Fat Quarter Shop is we want to be unique. We want to provide something to you that you can only find with us. And this is like our ninth year, I think, of doing a charity quilt. This year it's called Heartfilled. Heartfelt Make a Wish is going to be the charity, and we have already donated, I think, $2,800. Yeah, $2,850. When we get to $20,000, we will release the fabric requirements. Until then, you can order, you can pre order the kit. The kit will be shipping in January. It is bigger than last year, so the quilt is 76 by 84, and you'll be able to see it in a little bit. It's hanging on the wall behind me. It does come packaged in this box, and it includes 13 and a half yards of fabric. And we made this part big enough where your blocks will fit inside, so you can leave your fabric down here, and then as you make blocks, put them in here and keep everything in here. And then um, we had a photo shoot in the quilt, and we want to show you some behind-the-scenes photos. So um, we took, those are the different blocks. So there are six different blocks. There will be eight sections and the eight sections will be the six blocks, the finishing, and then the custom backing. And I will be doing one video a month. The patterns are completely free. We just ask for a donation to uh, the Make-A-Wish link that we provide. And um, here, I'll we'll show you some other photos. So those are the patterns. So the patterns are written and we have that cute little bag coming and um, we thought it matched so we put the patterns in there and we will be releasing the pattern um, like you know once a month and then that bag is actually on the coming soon page if you want to reserve it it's one of our mesh bags and then um, this is really cute so um, that is the quilt and we just did some style shots which we'll get online and that's some up close pictures of the actual fabric so you can see the colors so we hope you sign up now we have sold through half of our kits so if you're interested in joining us in this I would definitely sign up for your quilt again this starts in 2022 and I will be uh, doing a tutorial on each block and then um, on the finishing I will do something and then on the backing I will do something so I'm gonna sew along with you guys just uh, like like we did this year except that we are doing it once a month instead of twice a month because 
um, it just kind of worked out with the design. Now, Corey Yoder did design the fabric and she did design the quilt. And so when she designed it, it just happens to have fewer blocks. So you're just gonna make more blocks, a fewer blocks. So we'll just have one video a month. And I wanna thank Valeria Bauer, cause she um, gave me a little uh, super chat and she said, you are so awesome. So thank you, Piggy says, thank you. He says, Valeria's awesome. And um, what brand of me mechanical pencil do I use? I don't want to ruin the planner. I'll grab one in a little bit. Um, it's downstairs in my office, but we'll grab it in a little bit. And we can Amazon link it because I actually did buy them from Amazon. And um, let's see, flare pen is a felt tip pen. If you held the pen in one spot for a page for a while, it might write through or if you write heavily, but those pages look nice and thick, I would try it. Good morning from Lisa Alexander. Good morning. The patterns come in the bag and the kit or is the bag separate? So the bag does not come with the kit, but your bonus for buying your quilt kit is you get the entire year's patterns printed on color paper so you don't have to actually wait for the download like everybody else. So that is um, one thing that's a benefit. And also remember that Kevin and I will be donating 20,000 to Make-A-Wish and Mark Dunn from Moda Fabrics will be donating 10,000 and we're trying to raise 100,000 plus ours. So that would be 130,000. So we are well on our way. Now I'm going to move to something else that's also we're super proud of. And that is our 2021 Spooky Box. So I have seen so many videos revealing this box. For some reason, there seems to be way more reveal videos. So those are fun for me to watch, but I'm gonna go ahead and reveal it for our end. So if you bought this and hasn't arrived and you don't wanna be surprised, I would just kinda of like put, it, put me on mute and just wait till I'm done. So this is our box. So our boxes are always super cute and we hope that you can reuse them and anytime you buy either our so sampler boxes or any of our holiday boxes there is an insert included and i had revealed this on my wednesday live stream which is called fat quarter shelf floss tube so if you want to check that out and subscribe to that channel that would be great we're calling this a thread coffin and so you can put this thread in here you can put um, the 50 weight large would have to go sideways but you can put that in there you can put scissors another thing that would be great in here are sew line items friction pins you could even do lipstick so it works for a lot of things and um, we will be making more of these and we have received some questions. So we will be making more, but this exact one is only available in the spooky box. So you cannot buy this separately, um, but we will make some in 2022 for other reasons. And then we had the, we worked with the thread cutter company to make this one. And it's a thread cutter that you put on your ring and you can cut your thread. It works for quilting, sewing, beading, cross stitch, hand quilting. And even if you're just at your sewing machine and it glows in the dark. And then we have this item, let me figure out, it's called a metal bookmark and it is so cute because it's got spider webs and you know, obviously you can use it as a letter opener, you can use it um, as a bookmark in your brand new planner. So you can use it for a lot of different things and this actually has gotten the most likes from everything from the box, which is so awesome to see that. And then, you know, we always make custom stash and stores. And this one is glow in the dark and it's called ghostly Go glow and it's only available in the box. So we only made them for this box. So that's the only way you can get it. And um, one of these is going to go to Kevin because he loves Halloween. And so that is there. So three exclusive items. This is even not available anywhere else. And then of course the quilt, which is like the most important part. And the quilt pattern is called Hocus Pocus. And it was designed by Jocelyn. 
and it uses uh, this fabric which is by Kimber Bell and she is one of our really popular designers and so it does have seven fat quarters so if you don't like the pattern, you can use it with something else. You can use it for cross stitch finishing. You could use it, you could just put it like we did in the charity, um, the charity image where you just put it, you could use fabric for decoration in your house. And I'm gonna show you the quilt now. And we have gotten a lot of emails and questions about this and wanting this to be a pattern. So I don't think it would be available to be a quilt pattern. That would be really hard, but we think we can turn this into a cross stitch pattern, but that would be late 2022. Just so that um, I get that. And da, 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 da. so on this one, this is the quilt and I'm going to pull it up and then I'm going to pull it to the side. And and Mike from mylongarm.com, he quilted this and he used a variegated thread. So on this one, you can actually see the thread quite a bit. So if that's something you want to try, um, my long arm quilt quilted it. And and here is the back that we use. Now the backing and the binding don't come in your kit. Let me turn it around and then you can maybe um, see how the quilting, you can kind of see the quilt thread. It's hard to see, but in person you can really see it. So if you have any questions on that, I can answer. I know the two questions that we have is what is the quilt size for the charity and what is the quilt size for the pooky, spooky box so the charity is 76 by 84 much much bigger than last year and then our charity quilt we're grabbing from the box it is 54 and a half inch square and then we always list for you in our boxes what we use for our background what we used for our accent and what we use for our backing, binding. Now backing, you just pick um, whatever you like and we add the size, but we always give you the sizes and what we used. But of course, when you get home, you can say, oh, I already have white fabric. I already have black fabric. We're just giving you suggestions. Um, um, Karen said, I bought the Tula Pink Comfort and Joy kit from FQS. It's flannel, do I starch? So I don't know. I would love for all of you guys to comment and let Karen know what you would do. I haven't worked with flannel in a really long time, so I'm not sure. Can we still do the quilt in our own colors? Sure, you can do whatever you want, but the pattern is only available in the box. So we don't sell any of our sew sampler or any of our specialty box patterns outside the box. Um, man, Manda Lee says, what is the backing called for the back of the spooky? So on that, just search the collection and the collection is called Hometown Halloween and you should find it on the website. It won't ship for a while, right? Actually, these are in stock and shipping now. Is the new Make-A-Wish quilt beginner friendly or intermediate advanced? I would say it's definitely beginner friendly. The pieces are big. You're gonna use a lot of corner squares, which is a very beginner, um, and I would say it was beginner friendly. So now I'm gonna show you something else that we're super proud of that came out um, this week. We filmed it quite a bit ago, but it is a fun, fun project that we came up with using our jelly bars. So this is called, we named it Jolly Bar Dresden, and this is a completely free video. The instructions are in the video, so they're not available in a separate pattern, so you just watch the video, and the video is step-by-step, -step, very detailed, showing exactly how I made it. And what you need is Jolly Bars, 
And Jolly Bars are exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop. They're five by 10. This one is mine and it's gonna go home with me today. It is using the Cozy Up Jolly Bar. You can actually make two or three of these from one Jolly Bar. But we, and then here is the backing and I'm gonna let Jordan zoom in to the backing because we did get some questions on that video and they wanted to see the backing. I'm gonna cut these little things off. And so when you watch the video, you'll see that I don't cut my thread at all so that my back is nice and neat. And this is how the backing looks for that Jolly Bar Dresden. And you do, the one thing that you do need is you need the Starburst 30 degree. It's so Emma, Creative Grids Ruler. And we have featured this several times in lots of videos. So a lot of you probably already have it. So definitely check out our Jolly Bar Dresden um, video. It's called Make an Easy Dresden Plate into a Cute Centerpiece. And I can't wait for you guys to show me what you guys make. But I made all of this right on video. Everything is step by step. The next one is Stitch Collection by Lori Holt. Nova made this sample. And this is the jolly bar so obviously you need a jolly bar and you also need the ruler other than that um you might need the lori holt stabilizer it's kind of up to you so that's our second one and i'm also going to show you the backings that everybody used just in case you want to make it exactly like our fqs staffers our next one was made by teresa this is the Bell Isle Collection by Minnick and Simpson. And I wanted to show you that she fussy cut this. So sometimes, you know, if you're gonna fussy cut something, you might need a layer cake or you might need a bigger piece or you might get lucky and your Jolly Bar might be cut the same way so that you can. And on this one, I wanted to show you, she used a light blue thread and it gives a really nice accent on the front and the back also. The next one was made by Kate. This fabric is called One Fine Day by Bonnie and Camille. And she used a white thread. So it's interesting to see the backings. Um, everyone's gonna pick a slightly different backing, but it looks like she used a white artful thread. And then this one is the brand new Happy Days collection by Sherry and Chelsea. And on the back, the maker put a Bella Solid. So you can always use a scrap and you could consider this a double-sided project. So if you have one that we you have made with the fabric on the back like this all you have to do to cover up your quilting is just put like a little flower and you can use it double-sided so you could use it part of the time this way and part of the time this way and of course this is a free pattern brought to you from fat quarter shop this jolly bar dresden was made by riley and she used the love note collection by vanessa gertson which as a personal favorite and she also used the light fabric on the backing and everyone got to pick their fabric and um, she used a white thread so this is uh, love note by moda the next one was made by Teresa, and you're there's something special on this one that you're gonna love now what I want to show you on this one is she did a very specific placement of backgrounds and on this one, she double stitched. So we'll zoom in a little bit, but she double stitched her, her circle down and she got really close to the edge. So that takes a lot of work. I don't know if I could have done that. That's beautiful. So that's something you can do to make yours a little bit different. And then the backing, she cut out this from uh, one of the fabrics and she used a um, what are those called the jagged edge scissors pinking, pinking shears so she used pinking shears or something I don't know how she did that 
It's scalloped actually. And then she uh, she used fusible webbing to put that down. So that's fun. And she put that down after, um, after she quilted the front, but before she put the circle on. So you don't see uh, this through the front. So that's pretty creative. And that is the Prairie Days collection by Ann Sutton, whose birthday is today. So shout out to Ann Sutton. Happy birthday, Ann Sutton, and happy birthday tomorrow. Kevin's birthday is tomorrow. And here is that one. And on this one, Teresa also did some fun stuff. So on this one, on the back, she did the same thing. But then, oh, and then on here, you can see this is a fabric from Prairie Days. She used the wrong side to show. The reason why is it shows through, but it's lighter. So let me show you how the fabric, this is the fabric. She just did it uh, wrong side up and she did that on purpose just to give it a different look, to show you a different way to do it because Teresa is amazing. And she did the same thing here. But on the front, she used a Bella solid. She did um, scalloped edges, and then she used Lori Holt Cayenne Rick Rack in the large size. And she also, if you look, she's very careful about her color placement, and she's got everything placed equally. So again, Prairie Days by Ann Sutton. Everybody go on social media and tell her happy birthday. This is Make Time by Anila Hui which I really want to make something out of this. I just haven't decided what. And this one is made by Carrie. And Carrie used a zigzag stitch. So she did a circle in the center to, and then she added the zigzag after. She used a cream thread and she put the pins on the backing, um, the, the pin fabric on the backing. The next one is Starlight Gatherings by Primitive Gatherings. And this one, the Jolly Bar just hasn't arrived yet, so I can't show it to you. Nancy made this one. And on this one, you'll notice she did blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. And then she put a primitive muslin in the center, which is also a fabric by Primitive Gatherings. It's not a muslin, it's actually just called primitive muslin. And it comes in a lot of colors and she also put a light fabric on the backing. And then the last one to show you is using Fresh Fig Favorites. It was made also by Teresa. And this one, the Jolly Bar has not arrived yet but should be arriving every day, any day. And she also fussy cut the center. So you can see Teresa made a lot of these samples. Some she put background on the outside, some she only did the inside, and I'm gonna show them all to you one more time. And when I do that, I want you to pay attention to the fabrics on the outside versus the fabrics on the inside. And then you can just see kind of the difference of fabric placement from each person. And these are about, we got the question on the size, it's about 17 and a half inches. Um, kind of from here to here, approximately. So we've got fig tree, primitive gatherings, Anila Hui, and Sutton, Mannequin Simpson, Vanessa Gertson. Sherry and Chelsea, Bonnie and Camille, Minnick and Simpson. This is not Minnick and Simpson. This is, um, um, let me see. This is actually, both of these are Prairie Days. This is Ann Sutton and this is Ann Sutton, sorry. This is Minnick and Simpson. Corey Yoder. And Lori Holt. So huge thank you to all of our sample makers and hopefully this is something that you can pick up from your stash and 
follow our video, watch our video, give it a like, give it a comment. And of course, in any of our videos, you can always comment on different things you wanna see in 2022. The next thing I'm gonna to move to, and then I will answer questions, is the Sincerely Yours Together Stitch Pink Quilt Along. So you can order this quilt on our website, and it does come with the pattern. And um, I wanna let you know, we as a store have this in stock. So we don't want you to get confused with that. And um, this is going to be a sew along that is hosted by Sherry and Chelsea. And at the beginning of the year, I had said I was gonna sew along. And I just wanted to let you know that this year, I'm gonna have Teresa sew along and show the blocks. And the reason why is when I do all of the quilt alongs and sew alongs for you guys, I work about one month in advance. That's about one month to maybe six weeks in advance. And with my eye surgery, I have not sewn. And I don't think I will be sewing for about two more weeks because my eye is still healing and um, I'm not gonna touch that rotary cutter until I am perfectly healed. I do not wanna cut myself. So we are gonna fulfill our commitment to doing the sew along. It's just I'm having Teresa sew it along for me so that I can at least fulfill my commitment to you, but I just don't feel com I don't feel um, safe at quilting yet. Um, but I did wanna let you know that they pushed the sew along back another two weeks because some stores don't have their kits. Um, so if you want information on that, you can go to Sherry and Chelsea's video that they actually posted this morning and it has new dates. And now I'll answer questions. Um, any hints for sewing curves and circles? I've always been intimidated. So in the video, I show you that if you use your hand and you have a flat bed, it's important to have a flat surface. And as you're sewing, if you guide your hand slowly on the left side, it will help you move your fabric. But I'm not an expert on any of that. Those would be great for placemats what goes between the layers of the Dresden. So you'll have to watch the video, but we used a Quilter's Dream single-sided batting, and all that is in the video. What kind of piecing is the Toy Shop Quilt Kit? Let me look. Um, I'm not sure, so I don't know the answer to that one. So maybe somebody else can answer. Um, that one is being quilted by uh, one of the Moda designers, and I don't think we have that back yet, actually. Is primitive muslin similar to Kona? No, it's not. So let me show you that one again. So primitive muslin has a modeling look. Well, it's okay. I don't need to show it. It has a similar look to more of a marble look and it is a better quality because Kona is just a solid. Primitive muslin is, I'll show it to you up close. And it comes in about probably 16 to 20 colors and 1040-21 uh, is the best seller, just if you wanna know. But it comes in like navy black, several shades of tan, cream. Will Lori, Holtz baking cups be in stock for holiday baking? I don't think those are expected until 2022. I have a question, Kimberly. I see many items became international shipping impossible and items growing. I really miss some items. Yes, I am so sorry about that. Some costs have just gotten out of control um, and we just cannot ship them and make, uh, we would actually be losing significant amount of money. So. You are gonna see that lots of prices are going up and that's just a world problem, but it's due to size restrictions and size restrictions have changed recently. Um, so that is why. Is this an individual one block small quilt? Yes, it's just like a little placemat. Do I have Jolly Bars and Christmas prints? Yes, we do. And we are planning our Jolly Bars for 2022. And I know we at least we'll be having at least two of those in Christmas. Do I have any Halloween Jolly Bars? 
No, we don't. And um, we can consider that for next year. But what we do is they're called buckets. When fabric uh, companies or fabric manufacturers show us fabric, they call them buckets. And we will pick from Moda the six strongest groups, meaning the six that are gonna sell the best for us. And that's how we make the cut. Is there much difference in Bella Solid Bleached White and Color 200? So Color 98 Bleached White is very white. Color 200 is more of a, has a, t not gray, but it is not as white. It is a little bit, um, a little bit grayer. What primitive muslin would work for Sashiko? So I'm not sure, I would just kind of guess, I don't, um, I think any of the colors would work. It would just match what your fabric you're working on. Is the Dresden pattern included in a Jolly Bar or online? Nope, the pattern is in the video. Kimberly, when you are binding, what needle is your go-to? I use um, black gold needles by Clover. Kathy says, Kimberly, all of your Dresdens are so beautifully made. What did you do to keep everything exactly straight and matching up? Actually, all of those samples were made by FQ staffers, and the one that I made was made live on the video, so I would just watch the video for tips, but I actually did that standing up, which is actually much harder. So um, I just took, I think I took my time and just paid attention to stitch length and just didn't rush too much. And I did use a lot of pins because Dresdens have a lot of bias. And so we just wanna make sure that that's, that's kind of what I did. Debbie says on her device, Sherry and Chelsea's pink look peachy. Is it my device or does it have an orange cast? Yes, it does have, this would be pink, but some of these on the top have an orange there's pink, there's um, some purplish colors in here. So yes, it is a, these, this is kind of peach. Uh, Lori says, thank you for showing the planner in its super cute box, so excited. Yes, and I'm so excited. She's gonna show you how to use it and I'm gonna probably copy her. When, F, when might FQS be getting my new, Lori's new yarn colors? Um, probably 2022. Can we get older sew sampler kits? Okay, so we leave everything online until it's sold out, and when it's sold out, um, we don't have them anymore, but we do, we are very cognizant of putting the SKU numbers that we did use so that you know how much to order. Do I see the four, do I foresee the backlog on the So Colorful Club getting better, or do you think it's gonna remain back up for a long haul? I think everything is going, every club, every fabric, every product is gonna be backlogged. And my guess, if y'all wanna know the truth, is three years. I'm not even kidding. It's gonna be at least a year. Everything is a mess. It's not getting better. It's actually getting worse. And I'm just trying to be totally honest. And the reason that club is backed up a lot is because it's a lot of different manufacturers. And so we're not waiting, we're waiting on shipments from a lot of different people. Is the Hartfeld floss box the same construction as the Spooky box? Yes. Any suggestions for a first time quilter? The Spooky box will be my first quilting project and I don't want to mess it up. I think it's a great one to pick for a beginner because the pieces are really big. I would say use lots of pins and just take your time. Oh, and she's asking for suggestions for a first time quilter. Yeah, so that's what would be my suggestion. Let's see. Autumn Wonderland would be my first to try of intermediate. I'm a confident beginner, should I try? Yes, I think that's totally doable. And that one has a lot of corner squares. I would just use lots of pins. For the charity quilt, is the background fabric included in the kit? Yes. If you buy the planner, can you get the free tote? Yes, so I'm gonna bring that tote out and since it is over $50, you will get the free tote, but if you pre-ordered, you will not because it is a club. And clubs and gift certificates do not apply for that. And I got some pins. So moving kind of to our next item, we have a special promotion that Kevin came up with. Kevin loves Halloween. So he came up with, you receive a free pumpkin spice tote bag 
with a $50 shippable order. Now, if you pre-ordered something and it ships as a club, it's not gonna come with that. This is only for orders placed that are non-club and non-gift certificate, and it's a cute little bag. And you could go trick-or-treating with it, or you can take it, um, it has a nice gus gusset on the bottom too. So this is basically until it runs out, and it is a limit to one per customer while supplies last. And now I am going to answer a couple questions about pins and then show you my new items. And you are gonna notice that I'm not showing you my progress right now. And the reason why is I haven't sewn and I can't. Um, I don't think I'll be able to sew for two weeks. I'm still recovering from eye surgery and I'm very happy that I can do these live streams, but I am very limited in what I am able to do right now along with my kids' schedule, but we will be back to normal at some point, um, and I will be right back in it as soon as I can. So I think this was the question, this must be the pin. So I'm gonna write on it, and I'm gonna just write my name, and turn it over. So I just wrote Kimberly, and you don't see it. So it does work. I mean, I wouldn't like um, go too crazy, but yeah, it works. And then this is the pencil I use. So I did this little, I got bored in December, and sometimes when I get bored, I do things that are stupid. So in December, I decided that I was gonna be on the hunt for the perfect pencil. I used to use this pencil that's a yellow paper mate pencil, but the deal with it is, is that you could not, it came with one lead and that was it, and then it was hard to get it to re, re I guess refill it up, and the eraser, kept going out so it just became kind of wasteful so I actually watched a bunch of YouTube videos because why else you know it's fun to watch YouTube videos and I watched um looked at a lot of blogs on reviews so I ordered like four different brands and I came up with graphic gear 0.7 and this is what I use and so this is what I will use for my planner is that and if you go on the other side you can't see it now, I will also keep this, one of these, I have like 20 of these in here, but that's the pencil I'm going to be using, and hopefully that answered your question on the flare. And then I'm going to show you a bunch of new stuff. It's so exciting. So these came in earlier in the week, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So these are the Be Organized mason jars they are plastic they're not glass but i want to show you how i'm going to use them so i grabbed some buttons and it comes like this and lori's cute little buttons used to come in jars well now you can buy the jars they're a little bit bigger than the button jars were so this is what i will do with mine is i will get her little cute little button bags And I'll probably buy a bunch of pink and put the pink in here and the blue. This is the way that I will do it. And so I'll have to go buy a bunch of these today. And I use these for decoration. Sometimes I use them in the living room and Kevin and the kids get really mad. They're like, that is not living room decor. And I'm like, well, if I live here, it is because I'm the boss. I had to wear a shirt. I have this shirt. It says mom boss. And when my kids are being bad, I wear it. And then they're like, oh yeah, she is the boss, isn't she? So that's how I'm going to use mine. Or I might put red in here. And then um, these are the only three colors, but I'm sure in the future she'll have different colored lids. And then when she does that, I'll put different colors in. So these are brand new. Um, they're not a cheap plastic, if that makes sense. Um, they're pretty thick and then let me just leave this here so y'all can look at it and it was enjoy the beauty of the planner the whole way so I'm gonna take these home today I always buy all of Lori's notions now Lori has a brand new planner I mean a brand new uh, she does have a brand new planner but she has a brand new bag panel and the bag panel is meant to go with these zippers. So she designed both of these at the same time 
These are both made by Riley Blake Designs. And so when you buy the zippers, you get the whole pack. You cannot buy them individually, you buy the pack. And they're meant to match the bag panel. Now, Lori's video, if you wanna go subscribe to her channel, which is just Lori Holt on YouTube, she's gonna show you how to make these panels, how to make this panel into a bag. So it is made, so these are like the inside of the bag, the outside of the bag. This is where the zipper goes. She has different sizes on here. This is more of a canvas weight. It is nice and thick. There are instructions for the zippy tags and there are instructions for the bag. So you're gonna wanna watch her video. I'm actually gonna watch it also. These are the zippy tags right here. Cause you basically sew them, uh, you sew them together and then it makes a zippy tag and then that way there's no raw edge. But she's gonna give you all the details on this. There's lots of different sizes she's gonna give you. And I'm gonna make some of these. This is actually the first thing I'm gonna make once I feel that I can sew again. And I'm actually gonna make some with 80-20 batting and then I'm going to try some with the by Annie soft and stable just because I want to see the difference and I'm gonna make all of these bags and I'm gonna keep them for my cross stitch and for other stuff for next year so I'm going to do this but I'm waiting till I can see first of all because I don't want to cut my finger off I've had such bad luck in the middle of my whole eye situation I broke my um, windshield and do you want to know what a pain in the butt it is to get a windshield fixed that's real fun. Um, so I just because of that, I'm just I'm just being very careful. My luck has not been great, but I'm gonna be watching her video tonight as soon as she loads it, and I'm gonna be buying all of this and making it along with her. And then this is actually just I would call this like carpe diem or like it was just meant to be. So this arrived yesterday. It was produced by It's So Emma, which is our company. This arrived, I think, Tuesday and was made by Riley Blake, and you can mix and match this, and I'm going to show you how, and also, a lot of these ideas I'm giving you, they're Lori's ideas that she told me. So, um, oh, and I have one other thing to talk about with the zippers, but I'll talk about that in a second. So, these are tags, and these are cute little tags, and there's several things you can do with them. You can use them as gift tags. You can use them as bookmarks. And you could also put swatches of fabric. For example, if you wanted, like if you got a bundle of maybe um, some of Lori's solids, you could put a little snippet of it and then write your skew on the back or on the front. So these could be used for fabric swatches. She has more uh, file folders and you can add these to the previous ones she had that I'm gonna show you in a second. And there are 12 in here, and there's two of six designs. And I'm gonna show them to you. So I'm gonna, these are going to my office. So, and these are from the Stitch collection. And it's all very matchy-matchy. And I'm gonna show you some other stuff it goes with also. And I mean, who doesn't, oh my goodness. Who doesn't love a good button on the top of your, so you get two of each. So here are the file folders. Now this is the one thing that I need help with and she's gonna do a video and she's gonna show me how to use it. So crafting paper, she has two. She has a stitch and my happy place, which means two different collections. And you can use it for binder dividers. Like for example, within her notebooks, you can make your own dividers. Tags, labels, planners, file cards, note cards, greeting cards, decoupage, die cutting machine, paper crafting, scrapbooking, and sew along guide. Now, Denise and I have this great idea that we're gonna do, but we're gonna keep it a secret so nobody steals it. I'm just flipping through the pages. So these are the stitch, so this is the paper. Now what Lori told me she's gonna do is she's gonna combine this and use it within her planner so I'm gonna buy these so that I can use part of that for my planner 
Because I copy everything Lori does, right? Like, sometimes. Especially now. I can't see anything. I just have to do whatever I can do. So lots of different color combos. It's just like fabric, but it's on paper. I mean, you know, who would have thought? Oh my gosh, look at these ladies. So cute. So cute. Oh, so cute. So cute. And then crafting paper. Now this one is uh, my happy place is what I meant to say. Okay, who doesn't love sewing machines? This is like so fun. This is like, I get paid to show cute stuff. So fun, so inspiring. I love the ladies. I haven't in my quilt, I haven't figured out a way to use the ladies yet in my quilt because um, the quilt I'm using, it's making 12 inch blocks. And I haven't been able to like fussy cut one of the ladies in the center yet, but I've been trying to figure that out. So I'm hoping to get one of the ladies in um, my quilt. It's my favorite print. I mean, like, who doesn't, who gets, this is like the best job ever. You get to just show fun stuff, like from your best friend. It's like so awesome. And I forgot, there's one thing on the zippers that I totally forgot to show. Um, that I'm going to show in a sec. Oh, look at those ladies. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. That needs to be a cross stitch right there. So cute. Okay, so what you can do with this is you can take the My Happy Place office bundle and in there, a lot of you probably already have this. Um, in there, in the back, there are file folders. So these go with the other file folders and I'll show you how they kind of go. So this one has three. And I think that what Lori told me was that you guys loved these, so that's why she did the set of 12. So now you can have nine different ones because you've got six different ones here times two plus these so you can have this so there's and they have the similar um button at the top but what i wanted to show you from this is you take these little tabs and they have a little sticky on them and you can put them on the paper and then poke holes in it and use it as dividers so you can make your own dividers of course, you might run out of these little tabs, but I wanted to let you know that it's all matchy-matchy. And then now I'm gonna show you, and I, I'm i I'm very basic with this. Lori's gonna blow y'all's mind with what she shows you how to do with this. But I do want, one thing I totally missed on the zippers real quick, sorry. I'm gonna open all of these actually. Everyone wants to know the size, and I totally forgot to mention the way she made them and why she made them with the double zipper. And I will find a uh, design bag that I have downstairs and show you why she did it this way. So I'm just going to take these off. Oh my gosh, since I've been like where I can't see, I've been having uh, Kevin open all my packages, which is kind of dangerous because then he sees what I buy. Um, but the other day he was like, what scissors can I use in your sewing room to open these packages? And I was like, none. You have to go to the kitchen. Okay. Da, da, da. Woo! So. They are 16 inches wide from here to here. But the reason she did this, and I'm, I know everybody's going to copy now that she did this, but she did double zippers. So when you put them in your bag, when you make your bag, you don't have to worry about if you're left-handed or right-handed, because if you're right-handed, you would normally open your bag right to left. And if you're left-handed, you would normally open your bag left to right. And this way, when you sew these in to your bag, so pretend this is the bag, and this bag is, um, Lori gave it to me as a gift. Uh, Christy from Crosshatch Quilts made it. So what you can do is either leave your zippers on the left and then open to the right, leave it on the left, open to the left, or just leave it right here and open both. 
So, I love it. And the colors are great. They match all of Lori's fabric. I mean, they match her planner. Everything is so matchy-matchy. You could use these as, oh my gosh, you could use these as a bookmark. You could put this on some paper. Oh, that would be cute. You could put this like on paper, cut it off, tape it down, and then that'd be your bookmark. I might have to do that. That's a good idea. Okay, so now I'm going to take a couple questions and, and we're going to end a tiny, we're going to do about an hour today because that's about as much as my eyes can take. Um, Teresa asked, have I watched the 24 Faces of Billy Milligan? Yes, I have. I watched it within like hours of it coming out. I thought it was great. Betsy asked, what do you do with the paper? How can you put it in your quilt? So it's for paper, it's for scrapbooking, uh, your planner, it's uh, your office supplies, it's not for quilting. Would you use the tags for zipper pulls? The tags. Oh, the tags, no, the tags are gonna go on the side of your bag. I'll show you, let me show you that bag I just had and I'll kind of show you what where they go and Lori's video tonight is gonna show you because I don't know how to do it. So it will be like this. You will sew it and then you will sew it inside your bag and she's gonna show you how to do it. And she made it so that it's wide enough where you fold it together, right sides together, sew around, flip out, sew it in. How many bags will the panel make? Um, it's listed on our website, but I can look. And they are project bags, yes, they are project bags and there's different sizes. So. It is called My Happy Place Home Decor Zippy Bags Panel. The reason it's called Home Decor is it is printed on a home decorator weight. Okay, this panel features the pieces and instructions to make four large and four small project bag. Each bag uses a different colored zipper from Lori Holt's zippers, Lori Holt's Happy Zippers. Scroll up. So you can actually um, add the zipper as a add-on item, um, but we don't have the exact size listed, but we could get that from Lori and add that today. So we'll add that to our list to add that. Are the edges of the zipper wider than normal like the by Annie? No, these are more like a, these are not thin. So I would say they're not as, wide as by any but they're not super skinny like some zippers are so i think they're perfect are you going to see the new netflix series john benet case i didn't know there was a new netflix series on john benet but i'm sure i will watch are the bags Lori holt lined yes and um, she's going to show you how to do it for the sew by row is there fabric we already have from the project we could use to finish the last rows You should have enough fabric in there to make your quilt and um, if you want to cheat and get ahead if that's what you're trying to do you can any fabric that you have left over at the end of the month you can use for anything you want so um, for woodland wonderland can i starch yes is there a cross stitch for the charity yes we haven't shown it yet it just got finished and we're working on getting it finished right now we will show that on our floss tube and we'll also show it on this channel can we have a background, can we have a fabric preview for YouTube members soon? Oh, yes we can. It is actually this Tuesday. So this Tuesday, I'm gonna show you brand new Moda and brand new Riley Blake all in one video. And if you want to be a member, um, just sign up to be a member and then you will get a notification and you can watch me on Tuesday. If you're not a member, a paid member, then what you would do is I will be releasing that on um, two weeks from when the members get it. So the, the members get it two weeks ahead. And I do want to announce that next Friday, I'm going to have two guests on this live stream. And it's going to be the first time I've done it. I'm super excited. And I want you guys to guess who my guests are going to be. And I'm going to end by saying thank you to our new members and our super chats. Uh, we got a super chat from Twyla Stone. Love all your live streams. Thank you to you and your team. And then Kathy says, thank you to you and FQS team for bringing your creativity. Well, thank you for watching. We are so honored that you would watch us. I hope all of you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. And remember, comment below. Let me know who you think is coming.